Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today I'll show you how to create this cool login pop-up, which appears upon clicking this login button. Also, after filling in the details and hitting the button, users will automatically be redirected to their personal dashboard. So, let's break it down and show you how it's done step by step. First off, let's start by adding a new pop-up template. Hit Command E to open the finder. And go ahead and choose Add New Pop-up. Let's give it a name and create the template. Now, I've pre-made a pop-up for this tutorial, so let's go to My Templates and insert it. As you can see, we set the pop-up's width to 300 pixels and custom height of 600 pixels. Let's explore the main structure of the pop-up. The pop-up is built out of two sections. The first section contains a heading and login widget. The second section contains a slides widget. Essentially what we've done is use the slides widget in the second section as the background for the entire pop-up. And the widgets in the first section, they display on top of it. I'll break it down and explain exactly how it's done. Let's start off with the first section settings. We gave it a minimum height of 600 pixels. It contains a heading and login widget. Let's focus on the login widget. We want the users to be redirected to their personal dashboard account after hitting the login button. So, in order to set that, go to Content, Additional Options, and set Redirect After Login to On, and paste the link of the page here. Great! Now, let's move on to the second section. We set a minimum height of 600 pixels both for this section as well as the slides widget in it. I'll explain why we did this in a bit. But first, let's go over to the Slides widget settings. As you can see, we have set three slide items. Let's see how we set them up. Go to item number one, and for the background we chose an image, and we set the size to cover. We also switched the can burn effect to yes. This will give the zoom effect. We can set the direction here. I've set it to zoom in. Go ahead and repeat the same process with the other items. Okay, great. We're done with the slides. Now, the reason why we set the first and second section's height to 600 pixels is so that it will match up exactly with the pop-up's height of 600 pixels as well. In the Advanced tab, we gave the second section a negative top margin of 600 pixels, so it will align up perfectly with the first section. Now, we want the widgets in the first section to remain on top at all times. In order to do this, we need to go to the Advanced settings of the first section and set the Z index to 1. Great! Now, let's go ahead and publish the pop-up. We won't be setting conditions, triggers or advanced rules because we will set the pop-up to appear upon clicking the login button on our main page. So, go ahead and hit save and close. Next, let's go over to the main page to set the pop-up to open and close when pressing the login button. Click Command E to open the finder and search for the page and select it. Here, we want to set the login button to toggle the pop-up. So, in the button widget settings, go to Link, Dynamic, and under Actions, choose Pop-up. Now, click on the field to enter the settings. Set the action to toggle, and in the pop-up field, search for the pop-up we just made. Make sure to hit Update. Now, let's see it in action. As you can see, the pop-up appears correctly but the overlay is blocking our login button. This prevents the button from being able to toggle the pop-up. So, let's see how we can fix it. Go back to the pop-up editor, and in pop-up settings, set the overlay to hide, so it won't show. And in the advanced tab, we will set prevent closing on overlay to yes. If we don't do this, any mouse click on the page will close the pop-up. So, in order to avoid this, set it to yes. This way, only the login button will toggle the pop-up. Hit update. Ok, great. Now, let's see it in action again. Cool! Well, that's it. Now you know how to make your own creative login pop-ups and set them to appear on a button click. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and pop-ups tutorials. See you later!